to share one of my number one anti-aging tips, which is strengthening and building a beautiful posture. It's something that you can do with just a few minutes a day, most days, and you'll quickly see results and feel the difference for yourself. If you don't know me, I'm Ziva Lennox, and I'm co-founder of Mozzie Dance Fitness. Posture is one of these things that is frequently overlooked because we're always worrying about how our face is aging, our neck, are we working out, are we staying fit? We're always thinking about how to look younger and feel good about ourselves. And posture is easily overlooked because it's one of those things that we don't really think about. However, in today's age and habits, we tend to really sit at the computer like this, or just even if you're a nursing mom, you hunch over. It's just a very natural thing to sit over and kind of hunch, kind of develop a muscle memory and have a really hard time opening up. It's one of the first things that people notice about you is your stance, so it can easily aid you if you're walking down the street and you're just hunched over like this. But if you open up the chest and you carry yourself a little bit differently, not only will you look younger, but you'll also feel and look so much more confident. So let's get started. The way I'm gonna structure this video, I'm gonna explain some things first, and then at the end, I'm going to provide an actual arm workout that you can do along with me every day that you want to, and I'll put the timestamp below so you can always head to that when you're watching the video again. The first thing you need in building your posture is to open up your chest so that you have range and mobility. If you don't have this open and you don't have a lot of flexibility still, to see some dynamic stretching to help open up the muscles so that you can eventually strengthen the muscles back here that hold your posture together. It's really very, very simple to do. And this is a trick that my ballet teacher when I was very young taught us all. But you will never look or feel old if you can keep your chest open. And in order to train for Swan Lake, we grabbed a sweater, anything like a towel, do anything at all. And all you have to do is so easy. You just have to go like this for about a minute a day, okay? And this is just to build that range of motion and mobility. And over time, like you might start out a little bit bigger, right? Because you don't have the range of motion yet. But once you do have the range of motion, you can get a little bit tighter. If you have a TheraBand, one of those elastic TheraBands, even better so that you can feel that elasticity. However, I'm, I just don't wanna create any barriers for you, so I'm showing you my exercises with just this. So you just have to go like this, like I mentioned, for about a minute a day. I love to do it sometimes, um, like when I've been sitting at my desk for a while and I kind of like started to, I've started to be unproductive and I start to feel a little bit exhausted. It, it's a great exercise to do then. It also helps me breathe and kind of wake up a little bit or you can also do it before bedtime as well. So once you have done that, the next thing to do is to start working on engaging the muscles that are responsible for opening up your chest and holding your posture in a beautiful manner. All you really need is a wall, okay? You just want to go flush against the wall like this, with your elbows touching and your wrists touching and the tops of your hands like this. It looks so easy. It is not easy at all to have both your elbow and your wrist and your hand, top of your hand, flush against the wall like this. It's not easy. Once you're here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna roll up and then you're gonna roll it down. You really wanna push against the wall with all of your, your forearm here and your wrist and your elbows. You wanna roll it up and then roll it down like this. Roll it up and roll it down. You wanna build up to do three sets of eight, okay? And all that is doing is, again, now that you're opened up with the sweater or the towel or whatever, now you're just engaging the muscles right here between your shoulder blades to be like, oh, I'm there. Because it's so hard to engage those muscles unless you're a ballet dancer or unless you're going to the gym and working with that thing that you hang over and you do this kind of thing, it's very hard to engage those muscles. So this is just getting them to wake up. Some important things to remember is to keep breathing and to also bring your abs in and up and to plug the shoulders into your back. You really don't wanna be doing it like that. It makes it a lot harder. You wanna just plug the shoulders into your back and just go up and down for three sets of eight, ideally. Once you have both mastered, the back and forth range of motion open, chest opener, 
and the wall slide. You're gonna grab some weights and you're just simply gonna do the same thing. You're just gonna roll it up and down. I'm just having, I just have three pound weights. This is not about working out. It is simply to track the same kind of motion that we're doing here, okay? If you feel like you're gonna be more productive, if you go against the wall and you'll keep your form better, then do it against the wall. However, I would recommend that you try it by yourself just to like try to see if you can start to tap into that muscle memory that you're building. So you're just gonna go very simple and slowly for one set of eight, okay? Don't go crazy. I just want you to really engage and feel your back muscles getting stronger. What you'll also notice as your back muscles start getting stronger here and they start to engage more is not only that your chest is more open and you're, you're building flexibility, but you'll also get more out of your arm workouts. If you're constantly like this and your back muscles aren't strong enough, it's really hard to work out your arms because you don't have the range of motion. So you'll even notice a big difference when you try other arm workouts because you'll have that um, initial posture that gives you, that sets you up in the correct way. The last thing you're gonna do is you're just gonna roll it up and down and up and down. So we're not going super high, again, not heavy weights. The most important thing that you wanna do is you wanna roll the shoulders back and you wanna roll it in and out like this. Again, just for one set of eight, you're not doing a ton. You're just starting to engage and not you're not thinking about strengthening your arms. This is all about what is going on in my back. Do I feel the muscles that I've done I'm trying to wake up? And really strengthening that muscle memory. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the workout with you so that you get into the habit of it and you see how the flow is and we can get strong together. So go ahead and bookmark this time mark here so that next time you come to the video, you can just start right here. You don't have to listen to the, the whole beginning again. So grabbing your trusty towel or whatever it is, we're just gonna get going. And inhale, and exhale. Out. Abs in. Again, this is, we're just working on our flexibility here. We're working on opening up the chest muscles so that we have access to the back muscles we're trying to strengthen. If our chest doesn't let us open up, then we can't access the muscles. Just opening it up, breathing, getting nice oxygen into our bodies, and feeling so much more stretched, feeling our chest open, nice and open. Make sure that you can wiggle your head. You don't want a lot of tension in your traps. You just want traps to be free of tension. Back and forth. Keep going, we're almost done. And reach. Reach. All right. Next, going along the wall, we're gonna roll it up and down for two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two more sets. You can take a break if you need it as you build strength. This is just a killer. And you want to really engage your core so you're not putting a lot of strain in your lower back. Reach. Four. Three. Two. One, last time, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. Grab your weights and open it up for eight. Six, your arms should be really speaking to you right now, as well as your back. Just keep a mental note. If your back is not engaging and it's just your arms going, then take a break because the arms are just a secondary thing right now. We really want to work on our back muscles. Three, 
two, one, flip it out and just press it up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Whew, that's one set. Let's do it all over again two more times. Second set. Opening up. So everything should be nice and tired now. A little bit more engaged. Breathe. I love to do this to like favorite music. Just a beautiful, energetic, something that inspires you. If you want to mute me, you just want to follow along visually and listen to something, I really encourage that. should feel nice and open the first few times that you do it you're definitely gonna be sore you're definitely gonna have to take breaks please take the breaks these are new muscles for many of us even for people that are very active we're just not used to working on our posture and to lifting up and opening up the chest so it's very very common to feel really heavy don't forget to do this video at least four times a week to see results after three to four weeks, you should notice a tremendous difference in how you hold yourself as well as the range of motion that you have. So if you are currently just able to go this far out, you'll see that you're start, you'll be able to go a lot further with your arms. This will be nice and open. And slowly over time, you will find yourself walking down the street. And instead of just being a normal person, a regular person going down, you'll have a beautiful dancer's posture. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you have any questions whatsoever. Let me know if you'd like to join the class. I'm happy to point you in the right direction and to keep you going on your dance fitness journey.